Hello everyone. In this episode I'm going to show you how to make a talking PNG or GIF using the Discord Stream Kit overlay for OBS and some CSS code. I'm not exactly sure who originally discovered this process, so I don't know who to credit. If you know who originally figured this all out, please leave it in the comments below. But as you can see, this is a pretty good workaround if you're trying to make a cool stream effect or if you're already doing a PNG tubing kind of thing. This is a good way to create an effect for your stream. You can do this for your own voice or for other people's voices. This was a requested one from some people in the IQ community. They have some animated avatars they're already using and they wanted to know how to connect that animated avatar to them speaking. What you're gonna need is a GIF or two PNGs one PNG for the still non-speaking version and one for the speaking version. So in order for this to work right, we're going to need to go and enable developer mode in Discord. So go into your settings and click advanced and toggle developer mode on. Once that's done, in order for this to work right, you're going to need to make two different channels, a voice channel and a text channel. This is gonna be linked down in the description. You're gonna to need to go to streamkit.discord.com overlay and you can hit install for OBS and connect up this to your account. Once this is all connected, you're gonna to wanna to click on voice widget. You're gonna choose the server that you're going to be in and you're gonna choose the voice channel that you're going to be in. You should see a little preview here of yourself and your avatar speaking. And you're gonna to wanna to select hide names. Otherwise, you might see a little username showing up. If you didn't do that, then you have to check this. So there's a browser source link right underneath this preview window. Double click in there and copy that. Now in OBS, you're going to add a new scene called whatever you want. I called mine character animation. You're going to add a new browser source. And we're going to call this Discord Avatar Animation. You're going to paste that stream overlay URL into here. We're going to make the width 1920 and the height 1080. You can make it a little bit bigger if your avatar seems cut off. Now what we need is some code to put in the CSS box. And what we're going to do, this code will be linked in the description below. You're going to copy that code and you're going to paste it in here. Now I'm going to make this a little bit taller so I can see all of the code. You're going to find some sections where you're going to need to enter some information. Right here, right here, and right here. So these are the three things we need to do. So the enter user ID here, this is the person who's speaking. So you're gonna to go to Discord and you're gonna right click on yourself or whoever you wanna set this up for and you're gonna say copy ID. Then you're gonna paste that on this enter user ID here, just like that. Then the next thing we need is the file for the idle animation. And we're gonna put it right here. So you're going to go back to your Discord and you're going to find your idle file. I'm going to use this one to show you the GIF version of this first. So I'm going to copy this. You're going to, you can right click on it and say copy link. And you're going to go in here and you're just going to paste this between the two parentheses. Then you're going to go back to Discord and you're going to take the animated one and do the same thing. Copy link and you're going to go, you're going to look for this Discord file link speaking graphic you're going to paste it there between the two parentheses then you're going to hit OK and if you hit OK and everything loads up and it talks when you're talking you've done a good job the same thing applies if you're using just regular PNGs you're just going to copy these two the idle and the speaking PNG and you're going to replace the code so I can go back in here and I can put the, this PNG and copy the open mouth one. And now it should load two, just two PNGs. It's not an animated GIF. It's just a one PNG when it's closed, when I'm not talking, and one when it's open, where I'm talking. So that's how you create a talking PNG using a Discord voice channel and some Discord files. If you guys want a tutorial on how to maybe make your own little animated GIF, you can do this with free 
online tools like PhotoP to create the graphics. And then EasyGIF is another website where you can make the animation. That's what I did to make this. I did this all in PhotoP and then made the GIF, the animated GIF inside of EasyGIF. It's very, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. If you guys want to see that in another video, I can show you how to do that. Other than that, I hope this video was helpful. If you guys like this kind of content, please like the video, leave a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe if you want more. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.